Welcome to tutorial number 162. In this tutorial, we will talk about a popular method for determining the, the sheet meter properties. And we will see what is gauge table and why and where to locate them, use them, and then show you some examples. And also show you how you can make your own gauge table depending on your requirements. First, start a new part, and I will make a simple sheet metal beam on front plane, and give it some dimensions. Go to the sheet metal, this flange and the link make it 200 click ok i will assume this is steel beam and the thickness was one millimeter as you see now go to the sheet metal properties edit feature and as you remember here are the values which we showed you how to calculate and here is the K factor. But you may ask yourself that if you are working with few types of sheet meters and you are already know the bending radius and the thickness and the K factor, and already calculated the K factor. And ask yourself that these values should have been saved somewhere and used directly without the use to re enter them. So this is the work of the gauge table if you look over there you will notice there is use of gauge table so this is the method for example you can edit your own gauge table and add these values in there and every time you start a sheet metal part you just load the gauge table and automatically will be is a time-saving method and it is very popular at industries. Before checking the use of gauge table, I would like to locate them on your computer. So they are found on the SolidWorks folder. So if you go to computer program files, SolidWorks core, and then SolidWorks language, and English here you will find the gauge tables already over the bin tables which we talked about in the previous tutorial and if you open the gauge table folder you will see many examples so each gauge table depending on the method you are following so there are gauge tables based on the bit allowance which we showed you the formula you have bin deduction and then the K factor and there are some sample tables. And we said that we concentrating on the K factors method. So here you have the K factor in inches. If you open that and you will see there are two thicknesses but these are inches and here you see in millimeters. And here you can see the gauge table and it looks. And this is how the gauge table looks like. It is a bit different than the bending table. And here is the for which material it is steel, but it is clear it is not the stainless steel because of the value of the K factor. And the process is the air bending, K factor, is on the K factor units, and then the material is steel. Table is divided by gauges. Gauge number five is for thickness one, and the bent angles, as we notice over there. And for the angle 75, the K factor is 0.6 for this type of steel. 
and for thickness too you have the bend radius over there already and you have the bend angle so this is what make the gauge table popular because here it will be automatically depending on your bending radius and thickness and the type of material you are using it will directly calculate the key factor for you so let's go back to solid works to the part which we made and now let's check use gauge table select based on the key factor and then here is the steel air bending we saw it on the table and even you can you will see that the thickness is one then it should be the gauge number five so here is gauge number five is thicken and if you pick gauge number four you will see the thickness is two millimeter but in our case it is one millimeter and the bend radius it calculated to be one millimeter you can change it or override the radius for example but i will keep it for one millimeter for the gauge table here the bend allowance is gauge table and when you are done click ok so here is thousand hour table and you get and if you edit the sheet meter feature you will see all the values over there so let's start let's make another example start a new part okay pick front plane a sheet metal lb and we already know that we are working with steel and the thickness should be two millimeter and the bend radius two millimeter so you just go directly to the base flange extrude to 100 and use gauge table select the type of gauge table we said that gauge 4 contain the thickness of 2 mm and the bend allowance and the bend allowance I let it to the gauge table to calculate it and the bend radius here you just can make it 2 and you don't need to think about anything else because the table will do the work for you we saw this is a small gauge table and there is an example I want to show you so this is an example for a gauge table for the chat industry and uh, here is the reference link and here you can see it's the units in inches and it is for steel and aluminium and here you can see the gauge number and the thickness and so on modified to millimeter and I'll show you how change it over there click enter 
and here for the thickness to change it it was you just simply type equal the value it should so this is the original value you just click equal and change this to millimeter multiply by 25.4 and you'll get the thickness in millimeter as well the angle the radius you can change it in the same way and so on with the rest of the values here see the So let's see the nearest gauge to our previous example, this one here, with a thickness of two millimeter. And here is the thickness and the bending radius is almost two millimeter so it is gauge 14 so let's save this and apply it to example so edit the sheet metal feature here browse for the key factor and select the table which is click OK and there is the copy of child's table. Click yes and it will upload the values of your material. And as you remember, we said the nearest cache is gauge 14 find it over there 14 gauge steel and the values already uploaded as you remember we have only one bending radius and click ok and here the values are calculated you can also make your own bin tables. We can go back to the SolidWorks samples. Pick one, make a copy. And let's say that is stain steel and the values we showed you that how you can calculate it in Victoria 160 is 0.38 let's assume it is the same for the rest of the bending angles you can fill your gauges by yourself so for now I'm just deleting these and also these values and the rest you can continue so you can look at which material you are using and which are the angles you are using and the bending radiuses and fill according to your requirements in the table Make a new part here, the following dimensions, sheet metal, 100, use gauge table, and this time browse for the new sample that we made. Select the gauge factor as a copy of Our table that we edited and there is gauge 5 
and available thickness is only one millimeter because we deleted the rest whether the bending radius is one millimeter and we already calculated the k factor of this irrigation or k factor click okay 